Good morning guys! Welcome back to In Her Rubber Boots. My name is Katrina and today I have a vlog of miserable children. Alright, so I'm kind of joking, but not totally joking because it's been a really terrible morning so far. But we're hoping things will improve. Um, I'm going to take the kids to a garage sale that I found. Um, mostly just to get out of the house because I'm going crazy. And um, winter is also coming, so we need to do some winterizing and moving animals around. So I thought we'd bring you along for that as well. So I'm not sure why, but both kids have decided that they are now early risers. They used to sleep until 7.38, sometimes even 8.30. I know that's awesome. Um, but they would be up in the night and go to bed late. Now they're up in the night. They still go to bed fairly late. And they're ready to go by 6.37. I'm not ready to go by 6.37, but they are. So this morning I think that they probably both needed more sleep, but they thought they were ready to go. Oh, this guy's ready to go. Yeah, are you ready? I'm hoping he'll just sleep in there. Yep, you can come. I need to pull out the kind of liner thing that goes with this for winter time, but for now you can just wear this sweater. Yeah. <laughs> That was a feat in itself. There was more tantrums than I can count, but we're in the van. It says it is four degrees, so it is a cool one this morning, um, but it doesn't feel that cold, probably just because I'm Canadian. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to head to the garage sale. Levi is very happy because we are stopped at the tracks and there's a big train. You like the train? Wow. Big train. Did you like what we got at the grid sale? Levi, do you like the books? The ball? Yeah, they're playing with the ball. Do you like the books? Well, we made it back home. I found actually a lot of books at the grid sale, including some um, preschool kind of workbooks and a movie. So I'll have to show you guys after. Um, it was a good haul. I didn't find like a ton of amazing stuff, but the books were great. So we're now home and the animals need to be fed. So that's definitely what we need to do now. So yeah, these cuties are growing up so fast. They're gonna be going to their homes pretty soon. How you doing, honey? Are you a little bear today? Hi. Hello. Are you helping, Mom? Good helping. That's right. Open it up. You're throwing it. went in their water that's okay so against my better judgment there's still one hen sitting on eggs but let's give this chicky some Dog. food Dog. Dog yeah she was scaring them oh she still has lots of food I don't know if you can see her in there but yeah like I was saying against my better judgment she is sitting on eggs I mean it is October it's pretty late to be sitting on eggs but by the time I realized she was sitting she'd already been sitting for a week or so so like, all right, whatever. One last chickie to hatch some chicks. Here is my sad looking garden. Pretty much everything has been killed by the frost. Still have carrots in the ground, so they're still okay. I'm gonna pick 
some more of those. Kale looks good, because kale does good in the frost. You coming over here? The lettuce I covered when we had the worst frost, so it's actually survived, so I'll probably have some salad. Parsley's still looking good. Some of the tomatoes are actually still alive, and some was killed by the frost, so not bad. So I wanted to show you guys the, uh, the books that I got at the garage sale. So these ones here are the board books, and then I'll show you uh, the preschool items. So I got this one. Obviously, Levi's going to like that, and Henry as well. This one here, this one will just be for, you know, this fall, and then I'll pack it away again. Uh, I thought this one was kind of a cute one. And considering that we saw the train today, Levi's going to love this. He's also been reading a lot of Dr. Seuss books at Grandma's house and really liking them, so that way we've got some board book versions, which is great with Henry. These ones I will save for Christmas time, but Story of Christmas and The Night Before Christmas. And this one here I thought was cute, Grumpy Bird. And this one here, I think I'm going to save this for Henry, maybe for Christmas. It's got like a little poofy tail thing, and I think he's going to like that. And then I also picked up uh, My Big Fat Greek Wedding. because. And then I got Let's Learn Letters, Thinking Skills, a preschool book, and a Hooked on Phonics pre-reading. And so I got that, plus all of the books that I just showed you and the movie, all for $5, which I thought was great. So just to see this Hooked in Phonics one, it's got flashcards, different kinds, like letters and stuff. I'm hoping they're all there. Um, a letter names CD. Stickers that have barely been used, just a couple of them. This, I believe, goes with these games. Pre-reading book, and there's even a parent's... What did I see in here? Alphabet Town and a parent's guide. So, this is going to be fantastic for preschool stuff. All right, Levi and I are working on laundry. Yep, you can drop it right in there. Perfect. Do you want to get some more? So I've got this um, cardboard roll from the inside of tin foil that's quite quite thick compared to toilet paper rolls. So I've been trying to find ways to cut it up so that Levi can use it as bales. I have to say, when I thought of being a mom, this is not something I thought of doing, but here I am. So I finally figured out that it works with a knife, so I'm going to cut these up with a knife and then maybe we'll see if we can put some plastic wrap on them. I got this tape here. This is actually tape that's used when they're doing round bales um, for the seams or whatever. And so I'm going to see if I can make this stick to these little bales. All right, here's first attempt. I got to work on the ends a little, figure out what to do. But kind of looks like a little bale. I think Levi's going to like it. All right, attempt number two. Better on the ends, but then it makes everything kind of messy. But he's not going to care. So whatever. Either way, he's got bales. You got a broken wheel? Oh no! Hey, look what Mom made for you. Those are little bales for your little tractor. Big big bucket. Yeah, you could probably still put them in your big tractor bucket. Yeah, you're gonna go get it. Oh, there. Are you going to use that one for the bales? Square bale, that's right. Two bales. Two round bales. So, I wanted to show you guys this cabinet here. I'll insert a clip of what it looked like before. So, here you can see the before. It definitely is a big difference. But while we were going away on our trip, my dad repainted the whole thing. So it was like a yellow color before, and this board here was like green, and the clips that hold it on the side were just like the metal silver color. Um, but he painted it and replaced the handles, because the handles were just like uh, a wood kind of part of it. I know. 
handles. That's right. So you can see that. Those are the handles. Um, but it turned out so nice. I'm so happy with it. And it really makes the decorations stand out with the new paint job. Hi, honey. Are you big boy now? Yeah? Look at you. Look at you. Can you tell us a story? Hey, sweetheart. Oh, my. So Levi had a really long nap, which was good because he needed it. Boy, oh boy. And Henry slept a little bit, maybe half an hour. Um, but so far they seem to be in better spirits. Henry didn't sleep in there. I just put him in there because Levi wanted him to be in his bed. Propped him up. <laughs> They're keeping the bed together. Yeah. So I pretty much spent the afternoon with Henry. He was happy enough, but didn't want to be set down. So mostly holding him, trying to edit um, some YouTube videos, did some dishes. And now I'm hoping that if the kids are in good enough spirits that we can get outside and get a few things done. Happy. 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 He's happy. Yeah. You must like it in your bed. You're nursing the baby? Yeah, is that your little baby, Henry? Yeah. Yeah, you're just, you're nursing him. He has teeth? Yeah. Milk. Milk, he wants milk. And play tractors? I'm going to show you guys the baby bunnies. I'm hoping you can see them with this lighting. But they're in here. So there is two solid blues and one spotted blue one. Can you see it there? Yeah, Henry. All right, we're outside. Levi is going to go for a tractor ride. And he says, bumpy, bumpy. Oh, there's the tractor that you get to ride in. So I don't know how well you can see, but there comes the tractor and the barn there. And they're bringing the silage, and they're going to dump that out and add it to the pile. So there's the pile there. You can see the tractor on top. That is silage. Essentially, it is whole stalks of corn, corn cob and all, chopped up and um, put in the pile there, and that will be used throughout the whole year. Here are some clips from a different day when they were working in a field right beside the barn. So um, I just took these snapshots just so that you could get an idea of what it actually looks like up close rather than just seeing them dump out the actual silage. So we definitely didn't accomplish what we wanted to today, but the kids were not in the mood. <laughs> Cool. You going back out? Um, so hopefully tomorrow we'll get more done, but for today it is what it is. Well, we've just come back inside. Levi had his tractor ride and I locked up some of the animal cages. 
Um, it's actually getting close to 7 o'clock, so I'm going to quickly get us some food, and then it won't be too long, and Levi will be headed to bed. So I'm going to end things here. If you guys enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!